The White House ripping into House Republicans for assigning some controversial party members to the Oversight Committee. Some new Republican members of the Oversight Committee include Representative Scott Perry, he's chair of the Freedom Caucus, and Representatives Marjorie Taylor Greene, Paul Gozar, and Lauren Boebert. White House spokesperson Ian Sam said in a statement to a media outlet, Axios, quote, the Republicans are handing the keys of oversight to the most extreme MAGA members of the Republican caucus who promote violent rhetoric and dangerous conspiracy theories. According to Axios, Sam did not specifically name those four Republican congressional members. But he did refer to Green and Gosar's 2021 incendiary comments that led them to be stripped of their previous committee assignments. The White House spokesperson also refers to Congressman Perry defying a January 6th committee subpoena and Boebert downplaying the January 6th riot. One of the lawmakers the White House spokesperson referred to in that statement is Pennsylvania Republican Congressman Scott Perry. He is the chair of the House Freedom Caucus and a member of the House Oversight and Accountability Committee. He joins me. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Greta. And I would just, I'm thinking about that statement, and I'm thinking if defending the American people from record high inflation, defending the American people from a southern border where the cartels are running it, defending the American people from... Uh, record high energy prices and a failed Afghanistan pullout, uh, you know, all these things. Uh, if, if, if President Biden thinks that's extreme, then you can tell it just illustrates how tone deaf he is to what the American people endure under his leadership every single day. All right. Well, with your new assignment to the Oversight Committee, you tweeted, and of course, we always go to Twitter. You said, quote, <laughs> honored to be on the House Committee, House Oversight Committee, Boy, do I have some questions. Okay, so tell us, what are your questions? Well, uh, just based on your, your, your report just prior to this, I wonder if we also need to be investigating, investigating the archivist. It's not enough just to backpedal. These are classified documents. As a person who held the top uh, secret security clearance with the military, we know that there can be no loss of chain of custody. You can't just let them laying around you will go to jail. So if the archivist said that they had all the documents and clearly they didn't, then it seems like a, a bit of sloppy bookkeeping at a minimum from the archivist. Look, where I come from, these are crimes. People are prosecuted for them and they are sent to jail for them. Lots of Democrats have said no one is above the law and I agree with them. And that includes this president and anybody that was involved in the mishandling of classified documents, including at the Penn Biden Center, and including at President Biden, Vice President Biden, uh, you know, his, his home or homes or car or garage. Those are not skiffs. Those are not classified storage for uh, proper storage for these kind of documents and national security is potentially at risk. And we need to know if our president should have, uh, should have signed, uh, you know, statements enlisting in the FARA, the Foreign uh, Actor um, uh, Regula Regulatory Act. And, and we need to know if our president is acting on behalf of foreign governments or the United States of America. Well, I, you know, the, the whole thing, look, the president uh, shouldn't have had those documents. And I misstated, I said from 2017 to 2021. It actually went until November 2nd until we were notified. So I under, understated it by about a, almost two years. But what right. I don't understand is the archives, October 11th, all of a sudden coming out with this statement saying that, you know, everything is fine. Every other administration, fine. Were they, were they ignorant? Or were they trying to cover up or not doing their job? You know, you know, who, what are they doing this for? I, I hope we get questions out of the archives because they certainly, um, they actually misled us because two weeks later, yeah. we discover, we learned that there were documents that were uh, not kept secure. Well, that's exactly right. Either ignorant or incompetent or unaware. Neither one is acceptable when you're in charge of classified documents. It's a very, it's a very high bar. They don't hand out. Uh, top secret security clearances to just anybody. It's a rigorous background check because the secrets of the nation are at stake and the security of the nation is at stake. And if the archivist has no idea where the documents are, we need to con be concerned about, you know, what how they're doing their job. And clearly they didn't know or they're covering up. Either one is unacceptable for every and any reason. Well, today at the White House press briefing, reporters again trying to get answers repeatedly about, about President Biden's improper possession of classified documents. And here's an exchange with Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre that she had with the reporter. Since so many of our questions have been referred to the DOJ and to the White House Counsel's Office, I'm sure you can understand that we're in sort of an information <laughs> blackout where DOJ refers us to the special counsel, 
they're not holding any briefings. White House counsel refers us to DOJ. So if you are not able to talk about this from the podium, would you invite a DOJ official to take our questions here? No, you would have to go to the Department of Justice. That is not, it, this is a, a legal matter that is currently happening at the Department of Justice. And the president has been very, very clear when it comes to these types of legal matters, when it comes to investigations, he's not going to interfere. Uh, he wants to make sure that we give back the independence that the Department of Justice should have when it comes to these types of uh, investigations. So certainly would not be bringing them here. Uh, so I would refer you to the Department of Justice. You know, Congressman, I really don't understand the wisdom of this. Look, you know, the, the president shouldn't have had the documents. Everybody knows that. And of course, Republicans will always think it's senator, sinister. Democrats will say that, you know, the, the boxes just showed up. And I actually, I don't, I don't think President Biden packed his own boxes. I don't know why they ended up in his garage. But when you've got your staff, when you've got this constant thing we have to pull teeth and they won't answer questions, it really just makes the story go on longer and make it look more sinister. I don't know why they just won't tell us. Well, I agree with you. And of course, the flip side of the coin, Greta, is, is in this in this two set, uh, two tier justice system is they don't seem to be so parsimonious with the information regarding the last president, which, as I understand it, is over a dispute. No one ever claimed that the documents were not kept in a, in a secure facility or the whereabouts weren't known. That that's never been the claim, as far as I know. It's a dispute over whether he can declassify and did he follow the process or what have you. None of those questions are being asked of this president, and he's this president has given been given all kinds of deference and privacy, and the the last president has been pursued to the you know his wife's underwear drawer has been gone through, his kid's sock drawer has been gone through. It's outrageous, and these two standards of justice are strikingly obvious to all the American people right now in real time. How do you reconcile? You wouldn't you wouldn't testify before the January sixth committee, and you're going to want to call people before your oversight yeah. committee. So what, what you know? How, how do you how do you reconcile that? I mean, when you want to compel them? Well, I, I reconcile it very easily. One is is properly uh, comprised, one is properly made, and the other one was not. The Jan the so-called January sixth committee didn't even comport with the House's own rules, and so it was not a legitimate committee and had no authority to subpoena anybody. The fact that people went is of their own volition. But the, the, let's be clear, that committee so-called had no jurisdiction and was not a valid committee. So it's easy to reconcile this for me. Congressman Scott Perry, thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. Your retirement funds are being threatened with even more losses from record inflation, recession, and skyrocketing interest rates. Fortunately, the highly trained specialists at American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. If you call them right now, it's a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order, so don't wait. Call 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309 or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532.